Are you looking into the middle of that lens, huh? Yeah, I think so. Sorry, sorry. This is! This is! This is! So awkward. Safari life. <laughs> okay. Ready, go. Thousands of wildebeest are coming across this river. This is why we came to this area, to tell the story of the migration. The buffalo bull charging straight at the hyenas. Now the whole herd's coming. Look at the crocodile coming after them. Have ever had any doubt as to who the real royalty of the wilderness is? Well, now you've had that cleared up for you. Here's a lion. There's a lion right next to us. Oh, my goodness. That one's down. That is unbelievable. What an amazing series. What an absolute honor and a privilege to bring you one of the greatest spectacles of wildlife on the planet Earth. And it has always been a dream of ours to bring this to you, and we've done it. And it was epic. It was hard. There was lots of technical issues. We had a lot to set up very quickly, but we did it. The best team on Earth, once again, pulled off a dream come true. This series for the Cam Ops was absolutely insane. We had so many new toys to play with. We had thermal rigs, we had moonlight cameras, we had gyros, stabilizers, cameras in a balloon. It was amazing. Yeah, you know, can have fun, boys. Safari Live Migration was a tough series for Final Control. We had a whole new setup of vehicles and cameras, so we had a whole lot of new things to try and control in FC. But we had the most amazing time bringing the story of the migration to you guys, our favorite viewers. Good morning, good morning. My highlight in the studio was creating our opening sequences. They gave us an opportunity for some, well, sort of theatrical behavior and lighting, and we had an enormous amount of fun doing them. Brent. As most of you know, I'm absolutely obsessed with African wildlife and Africa in general. But since moving to Kenya, I might have got a new obsession, the shuka. I really enjoyed being the guy under the table. Hashtag Team Studio. You soon. Uh, can you reach up there, Fergus? Are you able to get a view of the map? Not so well. Okay. Now, what we have here is a 307. And these lines have been one of the most exciting opportunities I've ever been presented with in my entire life. Some of them have been hard, some of them have been cold, some of them have been rained on, and I didn't have any spare clothes relatively disastrous but ultimately it worked out okay in the end. So office by day and hotel slash bedroom by night. This is a kind of glimpse of what it's like after dark on Paka Jean Renau's vehicle and we are certainly loving every single second out here under the African skies. Now, eh? well, that is the spot. Are we excited? Are we impressed? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's just been incredible. It's been a whirlwind of massive stress, but massive fun as well. I feel that the team have grown hugely from episode one all the way to the end and I feel incredibly emotional to be honest that it's over but also a huge sense of achievement and I'm just really really proud of everybody. Well, if you want to find out what's happening in the middle of the African bush, join us on Safari Live. Subscribe here, and then when you see the bell, click on it, and it'll let you know when we're going to bring you the wonders of Africa live.